So let's have a look at the expansions for Panzer. And you may wonder why I'm doing that because I'm sure they've been done before. It's because I'm so excited. I have just had a uh, minor revelation yesterday playing Panzer with a friend, with Peter Gade uh, on Vassal. And we went through three turns. It took us about two hours, really taking our time and thinking things through and all the rest of it. And had a most excellent time and also really came to grips with the advanced rules up to artillery and air. We didn't incorporate those things. Uh, we in pretty much included everything else, I think, uh, command formations, uh, command chit system, and obviously all of the uh, supplementary roles that you can make in the optional rules section for penetration, variable penetration, things like that. So we really got stuck into it, and it became a seamless, easy exercise once you understand the sequence of play and how the spotting rules function and what, what their purpose in life is in the sequence of play. The other thing that became readily apparent is that there are many, many delicious choices to be made about how you will conduct your turn. So I'm not going to belabor the point now on all of that. We may do a video on how to play the game or something if someone wants to see or hear that. Uh, probably better people to do that than me. But uh, I thought we might have a look at the expansions and see what's in them because um, well, we're, we're going. We're in this. and We're in deep. We're going for it. So this is uh, the first expansion, which I think, uh, well, let's see what it has. Holy cow. Okay. So two very large stacks of unit cards, which we'll have a look at individually. Anthony sorted things for us. This is the scenario booklet. I'm going to move my soda out of the way. Uh, and this also has uh, TONEs in here as well. Let me just see. Yeah, so the first part of it is all of that stuff. So then we've got uh, an SS Panzer Division, the regiment, uh, outlined in detail. Oh, look, you've got the icons for the, this is a, the Das Reich uh, icon. This is their pen, this is one of their regiments. That's a, it's pretty cool having those little logos in the back. And another Panzer Division. Okay, so it goes through things like that, then a little, uh, Outline of Army Group Center's uh, Gunther von Kluge's army and assets. So lots of interesting detail and then of course a whole bunch of uh, scenarios that we will uh, take a look at at some point and we'll go through a lot of those. Ooh, a full mapper, nice. This is uh, set in Hungary in 45. It has a uh, a heavy tank company, SU battery, motorized rifle company. The Germans have a heavy panzer company and a panzer Jaeger company and a panzer grenadier company mixed. Ooh, that would be a cool scenario. All right, let's let's stop going. Ooh, ah, uh, have a look at this. Now this is interesting map uh, folding. Wow, there's a bunch of maps here. We'll, we'll get to those in a second. Let's have a look at those. Let's see, we've got. Uh... So, you've all seen the counters already. If you've seen any videos of mine, you've seen them, but uh, you've probably seen other folks. But there are additional new units 122s, and the KV2s. Look at those bad boys. Nice hard work on these. Very cool. Stugs. Different models of Stugs. Oh, this is great. 
This is going to be so much fun. Surprised there's so many extra pack 38s. And there's some pack 40s as well. Uh, and you know what? I think maybe uh, no, pack pack 38s are new. They're five centimeters. We've got some of these though already. Oh, look, oh, there's an 88. So I can't look at that bad boy. All right, very cool. Okay, counters. Put them out of the way. <clears throat> now these are Tionese the Soviets. Bunch of stuff. Let's see if we've got anything. Yeah. That we can bring to your attention that might be interesting. Now, you know what? We're cranking on in five and a half minutes, so let's uh, let's get going. More Tionis right here for the Germans. I think I may have already shown you that. Oh no, that's this is different. Okay. All right. Now the maps. Oh, this is. Uh, uh, I see. This is an interesting uh, way to do things. Fold it and cut in the middle. You can see those clearly, all right? All right, and then on the other side, you've got some wooded and much hillier terrain. And on the other side of this guy, village. Almost looks like a fortress there with a moat, doesn't it? It's got a bridge across it. So that's four, eight maps done this way. Some interesting terrain there as well. And the last one. Together, right? Okay, now one thing I did not see here. Yeah, no extra rules. That's nice. Now, this is the second expansion. Oh, we didn't look at cards, did we? Well, you kind of saw the counters, so that, that all gives you, gives you a, a feel for it. We don't need to go through all the cards. I'm happy to do that at some point if someone's like super eager. I think there's the uh, Lindley Sherman. This is from the second expansion, and this will be the final forces. I must have this zoomed in or something. I seem to be very close to everything today. Once again, another staggering amount of scenarios. That will bring us up to a total of... ...20-something? Yeah, 24 scenarios. Another three mapper. Now this has some urban terrain in it, so let's see what uh, happens here. Oh wow, here we go. Look at that bad boy. It is indeed a tanker's nightmare. Ouch. Not to be outdone. Second map, which would connect potentially. Yes, it does. Very nicely there, or you could do it the other way as well. And on the back side, there's more open terrain. Hmm, looks pretty exciting, doesn't it? Okay, well, we will uh, we will get on with this. Uh, I just wanted to share this with you, and I'll post it up for you to have a look at. I hope that uh, we can play some of these and share the content online soon. Cheers.